this is Tanker. Well, by, uh, welcome back to DMK Laser. Today we're going to talk about the laser diodes, LD or pump source. Uh, whatever you call is the same thing. So what is pump source? Um, pumping is technique that uses uh, energy injection to excite the particles uh, of the gear median from lower uh, energy level to higher ones. And its uh, main types include like um, optic pumping, chemical pumping, and uh, nuclear pumping. Uh, but today we're going to talk about the semiconductor pumping. As you can see, the laser source used in the laser cleaning machine or welding machine or cutting machines are uh, typically equipped with uh, pump, uh, semiconductor laser diodes. So you can see uh, this pumper on my hand, this yellow devices is a semiconductor, a semiconductor uh, pump source. So today we're going to take it apart and uh, check inside and uh, break it down. You can see this uh, yellow devices on my hand is a semi, uh, is semiconductor um, laser pump source. And this, uh, this semiconductor device is very efficient. It's a warp, it's warp plug efficiency um, is over 30%. So, and its life, uh, lifespan is exceeding 10,000 hours. Uh, so, which now is very commonly used in all the laser equipment. Um, our engineers opened this um, pump source for us. So, we're going to dive inside. This is a, a pump source structure inside. Now you can see we, there are numerous lenses and uh, some um, laser diodes. But what are the respective uh, functions? So let's uh, dive into it. First, this, this, um, uh, this laser diodes uh, are made of compound material uh, like uh, uh, gallium resonite. When the, when the electrode pass through, it will uh, excite the wavelengths to special, uh, specific wavelengths like light 150 or light 76. As we all know, this is the wavelength of the pump source. So make it a very crucial uh, energy for a source, for the laser diodes to uh, amplification and uh, for the gain medium. So that's why it's called the pump source. Uh, you might also wonder inside this is a lens. Uh, what's the function? You can see uh, numerous lenses, but basically there are three lenses. The one is collimating lens, and the second is the um, reflective lens, and the third one is the uh, beam, uh, is beam combining prism. First, this is this very thick one is convex lens. It, it can convert the beam from, 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 make the beam parallel from diverging the beam to parallel, uh, to very parallel the beam. The thinner lenses that can, uh, it's like anti-reflective lenses. So it can only uh, allow the beam that with specific, let's say 100, 915 wavelengths to go through this lens, some unwanted beam will uh, converse to the other directions. So then comes to the beam combining um, prism. This prism can reflect uh, the laser reflected from the other side, then um, converging into the, these two lenses is also like a collimating lens and a focus lens. So in the end, we're converging into the, uh, into the output port. This is method the whole laser beam, so how it works inside. Now I think we we, we got a basic understanding of this uh, pump diodes. So I can I think we can ask our engineer to power it on and to do the emission to see what it can do with this uh, pump diodes. So I guess we set everything ready. Uh, we uh, the engineers are ready to uh, do the laser emission and to test the uh, power of this pump source. Now, one thing I need to emphasize here, as you can see the laser diodes here, each one has like uh, uh, generate 1.7 to 2.5 volt. Now we know this uh, pump source is 50 volt um, uh, when powering, uh, maximum power. 
So actually, we can divide by the power by counting like 24 uh, laser diodes here. So I ask engineers to adjust the power from the uh, from this DC AC uh, adjust uh, um, supplier. So power adjust uh, power supplier. So now we can see these two pump source are different uh, types. So we can see they have uh, different uh, sets of the laser diodes. So is that how it makes the different power of the pump source? I think we're going to do the laser emission. Can you show us? First engine is going to cut the fibers, to pin in the fibers. Because when we do the laser emission, we need a very even and a straight cuff of the optical fibers. And uh, some of my friends might don't know that this um, uh, optic fibers has three layers. Uh, the engineer is pinning the coating from the of the third layers. This is very delicate jobs. It requires patience. Hmm. After preparing this, uh, he's going to tape it in. So before doing the laser emission, you also need to set the table because you need to have this uh, power meter. It's only for testing for the power uh, pump source. This is very uh, delicate. Uh, don't forget to put your goggles on when doing the laser emission. Okay. Uh, uh, for this 500 watt uh, pump source, its uh, full power is 45 uh, volt. And though it's changed to, and, and you can see, engineers it changed to 45. We're going to connect with the ladders from the pump source. And I think we are ready with the right uh, voltage and ampere settings. You can hit the to a premise. Okay. More than 80 watts, so under the 5 uh, amperes. With this uh, pump source, there are many DIYs we can do, or uh, any like uh, uh, laser DIY, uh, small job shops. You can get this uh, laser diodes to like do laser repairing jobs like DMK because we have a bunch of laser source because we get all the uh, uh, we collect different laser source that are unrepairable to collect the laser source to stock it and uh, selling to all the different customers do you think it's interesting to do the laser DIY for your uh, job shops um, I've seen so many um, small business job shop owners that buy this laser uh, pump source to make it like a laser gun or laser cannon to just shoot the mosquitoes. And you can see in our uh, workshop, we have a bunch of different laser source, no, ma um, no matter what, what, what kind of types or brands like IPG, JPT, Max and Ricas. So in the future, if you need any laser source replacement or, or small techniques about the uh, laser diodes, just contact us and thank you for watching.